Hey everyone. So I decided to do a little wig review of my opening the box uh, video. I've never done one before, but I do have a YouTube channel. So I thought I can do this, right? So yes, I have got my bell tress, uh, or maybe it's belly tress, and I have my wide tooth comb. And um, here she is. <sighs> She came overnight shipping. Ooh. Okay, I was so worried the color was going to be too light. And this color has definition. I I'm so excited. I have ordered a Mew in Cool Champagne Blonde. I was looking at Chloe. But um, Chloe was not as accessible. One place ended up having Chloe. But I had already made my purchase by the time they reached back out to me. Uh, so, here we are, and uh, I have a, a thing here, and uh, everybody has seen the reviews, possibly, of her. They are taking some of her curls and putting them in uh, that, and um, I uh, don't know how to get the um, tag off first uh, first wigged uh, tag <laughs> of a really nice, uh, um, really nice um, tag. Everything else we just, you know, just got cut off and was done with it. All right. And uh, as you may know, with the um, Lux, I think it's called the Lux line, they have this uh, wonderful... Um, hand tied cap and just like some of the reviewers have said this is a touch rough so and I do have a new wig grip uh, that I have in my cart for uh, at uh, Franny's hair but I uh, has not got here yet and my other one seems to have ensconced <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, run um, my comb through her just a little bit and then I'm going to turn her upside down and just shake her out a little bit. I've seen it done, and it looked really nice and airy when uh, they were finished. So, And um, we have the uh, silicone, which I'm really excited about because then I can put just a touch of adhesive on both sides. I'm not going to do anything like that today for this. It would just take up too much time. Um but it stays is one of my favorite uh, uh, adhesives. And I'm told there's some stronger ones, but that one seems to always do the job for me. So I don't know how much I'm going to need to tighten this up since I've never wore one of their wigs before. So we'll just stick it on the way it is and, and everything will come out fine in the end. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely liking that uh, curl. I know I don't have it on right. Let's see, get it here. Get it here. And uh, being a face flopper is one of the first uh, challenges that I knew I would uh, have to face. But I am going to... Uh, do as told and just with the heat of my hands push it back oh well it responded to that well didn't it I, I've seen them do it but gosh I thought I'd have to have a better skill set for that uh, and uh, yeah I guess uh, I'm not sending her back so uh, out goes the um I don't know. The unusual crisscross part that doesn't seem to, I don't know, is that still in style? I mean, why were we doing that? I don't know, right? So everybody, the first thing they do is get rid of that. And um, I was very pleased. Uh, let me get her back where she's supposed to be because I don't have the whip grip, grip, the proper wig grip on yet. She's moving a little bit. So let's see what happens. And uh, I will get that in the mail and have a proper, ooh, yeah, she's, uh, 
she's uh, responding quite well to the heat. I, I, I didn't know that. I mean, you know, I've seen them say, just use the the heat of your hands and you can uh, take out the face flop. So my immediate thoughts is that I do like the airy look for these curls. I, I have seen reviews where ladies were more of a keep it flat and ringlet look, but I really do like this airy look. And I'm going to continue to work just with the heat of my hands. Oh, yeah. I love that up, up, and away. Oh, I have to decline a phone call. <laughs> right? And I, I'm going to train. I know. I should have the proper wig grab on. I am going to train it to come up and off, and then I am a, a beautician. I did lose my hair due to allergies. It's the second time it's happened to me in my life, but I was, I've was i not been a thick-headed person anyway. Let's look at that color, and by the way, I do have on a little light behind us, but there's a big window in front of us. And so we are completely and totally looking at this cool champagne blonde in natural light. And uh, I'm going to take this back a little bit. And then let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. And then let's see. Once I adhesive there, yeah, and lift that up, then she will fit me better and I will get her in the right position where she stays. Uh, I have a big head. <laughs> I might have to release the, release the cracking a little bit back there on those bra straps. That may be the problem. So, oh yeah, look, she's responding so well already and feels just like real hair. And, uh, I may put uh, I may take and put a small layer here in the front so that she comes up and over. And I might, I might put just uh, this much layer just right around the bottom so that this top layer would be somewhere about that long. But I haven't decided yet. But I also wanted to take the time to tell Franny your family of wig help <laughs> from Facebook was absolutely wonderful to me. Um, Matt was right there responding to emails early morning when I had finally uh, finalized my decision and wanted to get it tomorrow, overnight shipping. And Vicki, they call her V, she called me and taught me how to measure my head. And, and she detailed and worked with me so individually I was a first time purchaser and I did not know what I was doing and she made it possible. So your crew made this possible for me and I'm going to go to my ladies club member tomorrow, uh, ladies club luncheon tomorrow, uh, looking like a million dollars. All I did was take about three inches off the front and just do a little bitty horseshoe to start and then pick it up and just take the point off so I just have the same little amount of long layer all the way around.